If you read the journal of Eugene Delacroix, it's clear that he considered himself to be a painter in the classical tradition, making grand historical pictures that accorded with his beliefs about universal truths revealed through beauty. But if you look at Delacroix's early masterpiece, The Massacre at Skyos, it's clear that he was painting in a radically different way from the hard-edged neoclassicism of David and the painters of the Napoleonic era. This painting exhibits Delacroix's superb mastery of composition, with a contrast of light and dark forms, the crowded foreground and the vast space beyond, the balance between writhing movement and terrified stillness. The skill shown in the painting of the fabrics and the flesh tones comes to a superb pitch in touches such as the film of tears in the eyes of the reclining man who waits for the advancing soldiers to finish him off. The twisting arabesques of limb, torso and animal derive from Delacroix's close study of Rubens, as does the way he arranges the lighting for the best dramatic effect rather than according to the laws of nature. There is a feverish, lurid quality to the painting, and it is this as much as anything that marks the difference between Delacroix and his classical forebears. Delacroix was a true romantic painter, and it is this injection of extreme emotion and the artist's personality into his art that makes him such a sympathetic artist to us today. <laughs>